opening of the gates of the potter's house. But before we go into that, I'd like to conclude what I started on Friday. I'd like to conclude with this so that we settle that area. And then we can now open the gate and then gain access into the potter's house. I started with you on Friday on the wheels in the potter's house. Don't forget, I've explained together with you that there are certain divine components in the potter's house. There are certain divine components in the potter's house. And I've explained those components with you, the potter himself, the clay, the raw materials, the vessels, the finished product, the wheels, the machines or the instrument of production, and then the process taking place in the potter's house. Those are the five divine forces that occupy the potter's house. So one strategic aspect of the occupants in the potter's house is the wheels. The wheels. Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 3. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a walk on the wheels. He wrought a walk on the wheels. So there are wheels in the factory house of heaven devoted to the manufacturing of the destinies of men. Wheels. The wheels are what God is using to mold and to remold us in the potter's house. The wheels are the instruments of creation and recreation in the potter's house. The wheels. Now, I have explained to you several times that you must understand that life is all about accepting responsibility. God did not create man a robot. God has created man a creature of rationality. The difference between man and the brutish beast or the stone or the tree is in the oppression of his mental faculties. Man is a creature of responsibility. The way by which you accept the responsibility of life will determine your stability in destiny. And I have made you to understand times over and over again that it is a refusal to accept the responsibility of life that makes men liabilities. God has created all things for us to enjoy. Mm. 
No man is created a toy in the hand of the enemy. No man is created a victim on the playing ground of the devil in life. What becomes your lot and your experience is a reflection of the degree to which you have accepted the responsibility of life. So, your knowledge, your awareness, of the production process in the potter's house, your awareness of the resources and the provisions in the potter's house, and engaging yourself with that knowledge will determine the end result of the byproduct that is generated for you in the journey of life. You must understand the basic wills, the operational factors and mechanisms in the potter's house that determine the destinies of men in life. The wills. So I went down to the potter's house and behold, he wrote a walk on the wheels. He's walking on the wheels. The wheels means machine, the engine. When you go to the factory, you see the engine walking. Immediately when they put on like, the machine is walking. What is the machine doing? The machine is doing the work of transformation. It's transforming raw material into finished product. They pack raw material here, and you begin to hear the machine. Inside the machine, he transformed the raw material, and then it roll out that way. Raw material, finished product, finished product, finished product. Raw material enter here through the machine, finished product. Raw material enter here through the machine, finished product. That is what happens in the potter's house of heaven. Raw materials are entered. The machines walk on the raw materials and finish product come out from the other side. What are the machines? What are the wheels? What are the machines that accept raw material and transform them into finished product in the potter's house? These are the wheels that are subject of attention that have started to begin to share together with you since Friday. For those of you that were part of the program on Friday, the force of the wheel is the word of God. I share that one deeply with you on Friday, the word of God. And listen, on Friday, it is no just if you were in the program on Friday or if you have listened to it, it is no just the word of God that transforms you into who you will become upon the face of the earth. It is your word in his word. For those of you that miss on Friday, they go back to it. It is what transforms, what becomes who you will be. It's not just the word of God. It is your own word in his word. Don't forget our text on Friday. He sent a man before them. Even Joseph, who was sold for a servant, whose feet they hurt with fetters, he was laid in iron, verse 19, until the time that his word came. The word of the Lord tried him. His word, the word of the Lord, until the time that his word came. The word of the Lord tried him. So it is his word. Discover from God's word that transformed him into who he became. After he discovered, until the time that his word came, the word of the Lord tried him. After that process, the king sent and lose him. Even the ruler of the people and let him go free. He made him lord of his son. 
a ruler of all his substance to bind his princes at his pleasures and teach his senators wisdom. Psalm 105, 17 to 22. So it is your word in his word that determines the transformation that takes place in your life. The number two will in the potter's house on Friday is the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I'm not going back to those things. We did extensively on Friday. Let me round off to this morning. Number three, the third wheel in the potter's house is prophetic encounter. The third wheel in the potter's house is prophetic encounter. Your encounter with the prophet. Prophets are wheels in the potter's house of heaven for the remolding of the destinies of men upon the face of the earth. Wow. Prophets are wheels to correct and amend and restructure and normalize the diversion and the perversion of destinies. Perverted and diverted destinies are transformed through the will of the prophet in the potter's house. Hosea 12, 13. By a prophet, he brought his people out of Egypt by a prophet, they were preserved. Listen. You remember, I shared together with you on Friday. Saul was on his way to Damascus from Tarsus to go and kill the Christians. On his way, a light came upon him from heaven. He fell down. And then he heard the voice of God. After he encountered Jesus on that way, then the Lord said, continue your journey to Damascus. When you get to Damascus, somebody will come and tell you what to do. So as he got to Damascus, the Lord went to Ananias. Ananias, he says, sir, lies up. There is a man in the house of one man, Simeon this. The, the Tana. Just go on your way to a street called Street. You will see a man there in spring. Lay your hand upon him and minister to him. Oh, he said, I have heard about this man that is very wicked. He's slain. He said, God said, Don't worry. I've encountered him. Just go to where I'm, I'm sending you. So Ananias arose. And came to that house and knocked the door and saw Saul of Tarsus there praying. And then he touched him, said, Saul, brother Saul, he called him brother Saul. He said, Brother Saul, the Lord that appeared to you on the way sent me to you that I should lay my hand upon you so you can receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And then continue the assignment that God has sent you. Oh, so I said, no problem, sir. So Ananias came and laid hand upon him. Bible said there was something like a scale upon him, fell down. His eyes became open, and then he could see. After Ananias has laid hand upon him, then Saul became baptized in the Holy Spirit. And then a new Saul emerged. There was a transformation from Saul of Tarsus to Paul the Apostle by that encounter. You all knew what Paul the Apostle did in the, his, in the story of Christianity. He wrote almost half of the epistles, if not two thirds of the New Testament. He brought Christianity to the land of the Gentiles from the Jewish region where Christianity was domicile to. 
the man became great, but listen to me, there would not have been any Paul the Apostle if there was not an Ananias. We didn't know much about Ananias in the Bible, but for him, the man would have died as son of Tassos. So, the will, Ananias stood there as a will in the potter's house that transformed the raw material of Saul of Tassos into the finished product of Paul the Apostle. So, the raw material of Saul of Tassos, the vessel of clay, became transformed on the wheel. And what is a wheel? Ananias. To graduate to becoming Paul the Apostle. So, if there was no Ananias, who was the wheel? Saul of Tassos will die as Saul of Tassos and will never become Paul the Apostle. Prophets, therefore, are wheels in the potter's house. Prophets are wheels in the potter's house. And listen to me, the story is true of all the experiences of men in scripture. We read of the great man Elisha, who after he has died, his dry bones raised up a dead man. The dry bones of Elisha raised up a dead man. Ah, terrible. But listen, Elisha could emerge as one of the greatest prophets in the Old Testament because there was a prophet in Elijah that transformed a farmer. A farmer. A farmer in Elisha passed through the will of a prophet in Elijah. To become one of the greatest prophets in the entire Bible. The will of Elijah. We were told of the barren Anna. Who had no child. And has made every concerted effort to get a child. He has fast, she has fasted and prayed in the temple for years. No answer. She will have died in barrenness. But listen, we were told of the will in Eli. The will in Eli available for Anna. Anna came as a vessel of clay, raw material, and entered into the will of Eli. And after the production process has been carried out in the will of Eli. Anna came out as a vessel, finished product that has seven children. By a prophet, he brought his people out of Egypt. By a prophet, they were preserved. After the will of the world, the will of the Holy Spirit is the will of the prophet. You know, I've told you, some of the afflictions we pass through in life, they are not because God is weak. They are not because God is powerless. They are not because God wants you to die in your situation. They are because of your, your being unskillful. In engaging the factors and the forces that God has made available for your transformation into the finished product of life. The prophet. In this 52 days fasting and prayer, there will be unmistakable encounter with the prophet. There will be prophetic encounters in this 52 days fasting and prayer. Wow. Prophetic direct <coughs> irresistible prophetic encounters. The word will come to you in ways you cannot miss it. The Holy Spirit will appear to you in this 52 days fasting and prayer. And listen, sir, 
there will be serious prophetic encounters. I am going to arrange strategic meetings in this fasting program, these 52 days. I understand that there are challenges everyone, but there is a God that can turn things around. I am going to organize programs upon programs. Particularly, there will be Saturday meetings. When people will come and meet me very early in the morning, I am going to bring prophets from far and near. I'm going to stand as an arch prophet over your life. I'm going to bring you together in the morning so that we can have direct encounter with the ministry of the prophet. The prophet is a wheel in the potter's house. Where the raw material of the malformed destinies pass through the wheel of the prophet, the malformed destiny will be corrected and be amended, and a new version of you will appear. The prophet. Is there any other will in the prophet in the potter's house? Yes. Give for me that Jeremiah chapter 18, verse, verse 3. Jeremiah 18, 3. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrote a walk on the wheel. Wow. Let me explain that verse to you. What does that mean? I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he, he walks a walk. He is doing a walk on the wheel. He is walking. What does it use to do the walk with his hand? He is walking a walk. He uses his hand. Wow. Give me verse 4. Verse 4. And the vessel that he made of clay was mad in the hand of the potter. So he made it again, another vessel, as he seemed good to the potter to make it. He made, he was making. What was he using to make? The hand, the hand. So another wheel in the potter's house is the hand of God. Another wheel available in the potter's house is the hand of God. Wow. What does the hand of God represent? In Exodus chapter 3, from verse 19, God said to Moses, Go down and say to Pharaoh, let my people go, that they may serve me. He said, I know that the king of Egypt will not let you go. No, not by a mighty hand. Then I will stretch forth my hand upon Egypt. With all the signs and the wonder, I will stretch out my hand upon Egypt. With all the wonders which I shall do in the midst thereof, and after then he will let you go. I will stretch forth my hand upon Egypt, the hand of God. What does the hand of God represent? Psalm 118, verse 17. Psalm 118, verse 17. Psalm 118, verse 17. Okay, give me 23. 23. Verse 23. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. It is the Lord's doing. This is the day that the, what? This is the day which the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Listen, the scripture I'm looking for, that in that Psalm 18, the shout of joy and rejoicing is hard. In the tabernacle of the righteous, the right hand of the law, do it valiantly. That's what I'm looking for. Come on. What verse? 16. Put for me verse 16. 
The shout of joy and rejoicing is heard in the tabernacle of the righteous. The right hand of the law doeth valiantly. So the, the hand of God is a symbol of his power. The hand of God is a symbol of his power. We were told in the Bible that Jesus Christ rose from the dead and ascended into heaven and is sitting at the right hand of God. The right hand of God is the place of his power. So another vessel in the potter's house is the hand of God. Another vessel in the potter's house is the hand of God. The hand of God is a vessel in the house of the potter. What does the hand of God represent? It represents his power. So in the potter's house, the potter's house is a library of power. Power. Listen, what, what, what is the necessity for power in the potter's house? Why is power necessary in the potter's house? Don't forget. The vessel that he made of clay was mad in the hand of the potter. Jeremiah 18.4 The vessel and the vessel that he made of clay was mad in the hand of the potter. Wow. Now listen to me. The answer to the mad clay in the hand of the potter is power. The authentic answer to the mad clay in the hand of the potter is power. If power was not available, the clay will be ruined in the hand of the potter, and the potter will be rendered helpless to help the clay. What <clears throat> gives dominion over the potter, in spite of the attackers of clay, in spite of the messengers, <clears throat> that are sent on a mission to ruin the clay. What this dominion to the potter is power. As a matter of fact, what gave the potter power to remove the mad clay and tell the attacker of clay you are a liar and tell the attacker of clay you are attacking the clay is a process, it's not the destination. You can only attack the clay. You can't attack the vessel. You can attack the beginning. The ending is not in your hand. The downfall of a man is not the end of his life. What did the potter the dominion, the audacity, the power, the sagacity? What gave the potter that ability is power at his disposal? The potter knew that he was in cheap control, command of power. So it does not matter what the attackers of clay is doing. Ultimately, the final end is in my hand because power is at his disposal. Wow. Ah. Listen, in the journey of life, like I said, I am going to extract to you, and I will not forget it before we finish this, our journey. It's a mystery that the clay was mad in the hand of the potter. You remember? I told you, it's a mystery. Was the potter sleeping? Why did he allow the clay to be mad in his hand? Last week, Tuesday, I gave you one factor. But I'm going to expose the rest to you. Why would the potter allow the clay to be mad in his hand? Just as we ask me, why should some people be born blind? If sin is the cause of problem, he had not committed any sin now before he came. Why should some children die at childbirth? If 
if it is a sin he committed, he should have been born first. Why was he a victim of steel bat? Why were some born lame? Why were some born deformed? You know why? The clay had been mad in the hand of the potter. Is a, a ministry of the attackers of clay. Then you ask me a question. When the attackers of clay were shooting arrow, what was the potter doing when the clay was in his hand and allowed the arrow to enter? These are questions we must ask. Them. We will give answer in this program. There will be answer. Listen to me. We came to this art with experiences that are mysteries. I was born with a terminal incurable disease that my mother made all effort in her lifetime to get me healed to no avail. This year, I clock 58. January next year, I'll be 59. It will have become a redo to my mother that I could clock 50 in my lifetime. But as I was a victim of a terminal disease, my mother struggled up and down. I was still very young when she died and couldn't see me healed. It's a redo. Your own may not be sickness. Every word of us seated had one question mark upon our destiny, begging for answer. Why? The clay was mad in the hand of the potter. There are clay attackers in life that monitor destiny. I preach to you here about antenatal arrows. There are arrows from the womb. But listen to me. The answer to the mad clay in the hand of the potter, the answer to antenatal arrows, the answer to afflictions that are mysterious to you that you cannot know their source and their origin is power. That is why in this 52 days fasting and prayer, one of our major target and concern is an encounter with power. A week, seven days will be devoted to power in this fasting and prayer. One week of seven days will be devo devoted to encounter with power. Encounter with power. Encounter. And listen, that week will be strange. That week will be uncommon. That week will be extraordinary. I will show you when the week comes. Because that is the week devoted to the healing and the restoration of the deformation, the malfunctioning and the dysfunctioning of glorious destinies. Mad! Clay in the hand of the potter will receive healing. This fasting and prayer is devoted to an encounter with power. Now, let me tell you again. What are other wheels available in the hand of the potter? I've spoken to you the will of the word, the will of the Holy Spirit, the will of prophetic encounter, the will of the hand of God. What are other wheels available in the hand of the potter? The will of seeds. Seeds. Seeds, sacrifices, and altars. Seeds. Listen to me. Your altar that you raise, your sacrifices that you give, I am talking about your giving. The giving of your money. The money that comes from you is a will in the potter's house. Your giving is a will in the, potter, in the, in the potter's house. The tithe you pay is a will in the potter's house. The offering you give is a will in the potter's house. Your kingdom promotional offerings is a will in the potter's house. Every sacrifice you lay down 
Money, money, money. My new book is in the press now, about to come out, Decoding the Codes of Life. It should be out in the name of two weeks. There is a chapter devoted on what I call money mystery, the mystery of money. Every money that comes from you, that you put into the hand of God, is a will in the potter's house. It goes all out to address the malfunctioning and the deformation of your destinies, the money you give. Sometime in this program like this, when we ask you to sow seed, Barrister Sam was talking the other time that you sow seed for the anniversary. It's not to punish you. It's not to extract something from you. It's not to make a cheap gain of you. It's not to manipulate you. It's to encourage you to pass through the wheel of the potter's house so that the vessel of clay can be transformed into finished product. Solomon came and saw the calamity and the disaster of his father. That his father fought war throughout all of his, all of his lifetime. Solomon did not want to be an, an extension of the battle of his father's house. He went to Gibeon to go and raise an altar. 1,000 cows he brought to Gibeon. He slaughtered them, even when he had nothing. As he was slaughtering the cow, God looked at the amount of money he used to buy those cows. Oh! God came and said, Solomon! He said, sir, come on. God said, it's terrible. Your giving and your sacrifice has reached heaven. And I have heard. Ask what you want me to do for you. And then the boy crossed what they taught us in the medieval history, crossing the Rubicon River. The boy came to that realm of crossing the Rubicon River. You know the Rubicon River in Rome? Crossing. Solomon came to that realm. His father fought war till he died. The boy didn't fight any war, and he won all the battles of his life. You know why? The altar of giving is a will in the potter's house. Let me show you the last one. What? Let me show you one, one will. What, what, what is another will in the potter's house? The will of fasting and prayer. That's the last one I want to mention to you. The will of fasting and prayer. Now listen. All the other five wills in the potter's house can be in place, but not working. I went, I sent my boy to buy SIM card for me, MTN. The boy came, I bought SIM card for me, I put it in my phone. I tried it, it didn't work. I called my boy, I said, look at this SIM card you bought for me, it's not work. They said, Daddy, you have not activated it. Uh, we need to activate SIM card again. He said, yes. How do we do it? So, when, so I went, I activated the SIM card, it began to work. So listen to me. All the other five wills that I've shared together with you, they won't work until you activate them. The word of God will be there and be looking at you. The power of God will be there and be looking at you. The prophet will be there and be looking at you. They won't work, sir, until you get them activated. You activate the wills in the potter's house by the instrumentality of fasting and prayer. All the ways in the potter's house get activated on the altar of fasting and prayer. Check all of them, sir. Both in the New Testament and in the Old Testament. Elijah, 40 days fasting and prayer on top of the mountain. Moses, 80 days fasting and prayer on top of the mountain. Jesus, 40 days fasting and prayer on top of the mountain. And then what happened? They became vessel of honor. The new, the new vessel came out. That is why we are backing up on this 52 days fasting and prayer. Why? We want to activate the wheels in the potter's house. Rise your feet. Lift up your tongue to heaven. I begin to wave your tongue. This morning, if you close your mouth and you couldn't pray, I pity you, sir. You can't afford to return home like that. Lift up your tongue to heaven. I begin to say, Lord, thank you this morning. This is my time. I am on a journey to the potter's house. I am on a journey to the potter's house. I am on a journey to the potter's house. Lord, thank you. 
I am on a journey to the potter's house. Lord, thank you. I am on a journey to the potter's house. Lord, thank you. I am on a journey to the potter's house. Lord, Jesus. thank you. I am thank on you, a Jesus. journey to the potter's house. Lord, thank you. I am on a journey to the potter's house. Lord, thank you. Lord, I am on a journey to the potter's house. Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I this this between now and the end of the year. I am on a journey to the potter's house. Between now and the end of the year. I am on a journey to the now potter's house. The between at the end of the year, year I am I on a journey to the potter's house. Between at the end of the year, I am on a journey to the potter's house. Between at the end of the year, I am on a journey to the potter's house. Between at the end of the year, I am on a ah Lord, thank you. You are waiting for me, the potter's house. Lord, thank you. You are waiting for me, the potter's house. Lord, thank you. Come on. I am on a journey to the potter's house. Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you for waiting for me at the potter's house. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Everybody stand very well. Look at me. We are closing some few minutes. You take one prayer. After that one prayer, we are embarking upon this journey with the mystery of the communion. The communion is set. Is here. So we are going to pray one prayer. After that one prayer, we take the communion. I'll pray the second prayer. Then I'll minister to you. The purpose of the journey to the potter's house is for your story to change. Yes, sir. Come on, are you hearing me? Yes, sir. The purpose of the journey to the potter's house is for your history to change. Amen. The purpose of the journey to the potter's house is for your change to come. Amen. The purpose of journey to the potter's house is for your turn around to become a reality. Amen. That's why we are going to the potter's house. Things must change. Enemies must hands off. The work of the enemy must be destroyed. Amen. A new you must emerge. Amen. That's why we are going to report us out. Stand where you are. You go to pray one prayer. As I lead this prayer, if you can hear another person's voice above your own, you have lost. Hmm. If another person's voice is above your own, you are not among us. You didn't come for this service. The, the proof that your prayer will be answered first is that your voice will be above the voice of every other person. You will shout the name of Jesus with thunder three times. After the third time, you will cry. This week, I am on my way to the potter's house. My story changed by fire. Amen. My history changed by fire. My, my change come by fire. My, my turn around come by fire. Whatsoever want to cause things to still remain the same with me, die by fire. Whatsoever want to hold me down that there can be no change, die by fire. I am on my way this week to the potter's house. My story, chain by fire. My history, chain by fire. My chain, God by fire. My turn around, God, open your mouth and cry. In the name of Loud Jesus. Loud and cry. In the name of One Jesus. One more time. In the name I am on my way to the potter's house. I am on my way to the potter's house. This week, Lord, I am on my way to the potter's house. This week, this week, this week. This way, this way, to the animals, Sabalaba. Lepra da like, bra da like, liboze de like, yaga da boba. Rede prote kali gada boba. My story is changed. Ibra da like, kali basha da like, yaga da boba. My history is changed. Ibroze de like, kali basha da like, yaga da boba. Everything concerning me is tired. I am on my way to the potter's house. This way, my story is changing. My story changed. 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 My change come. My change come. My change come. My turn around come. My turn around come. My turn around come. On the way, in the name of Jesus. Lebra dali keli bozan dali kaya gada boma. Ibro de keto li kali basha dali kaya gada boma. It is my week of encounter with the God of the Potter. Ibra dali keli bozan dali kaya gede boma. My story is changing. My history is changing. 
my turn around is this week in the name of jesus christ marabosa talike yege de boba ibra daleke telika yaga da boba makata lege de gede bo rede bo sata lege de gede bo leke te 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 ibra da gale bo shede de gede bo marabasa talike telike yege de bo ibra daleke de bo shada lege de bo whatsoever is standing on my way to the dawning of my dawning of my way to the my way to the my way to the my way to the my way my story change my story change my story my change go my change go my my story now go 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 now 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 my regular god of woman my destiny is changing my life is changing in the name of jesus my robe i shed the liga da boba my catalega yege de boba my life is changing this week my destiny is changing my story is changing rabosh kaleba yagada le prate lika yagada jesus mighty name we are prayed amen lord god jehovah by this communion we enter the potter's house as the white thing he took bread blessed broke gave and said take it this is my flesh this is the flesh of jesus christ in the same manner he took the cup when he has, when he has blessed he gave and said drink all of you for this is my blood of the new testament that shed for many for the remission of sin let it be for us by this lord let there be healing amen. restoration deliverance amen. breakthrough as we begin this journey to the port as out by this communion we receive strength amen. power for this 52 days journey amen. we receive with thanksgiving in the name of god the father amen. and god the son and god the holy ghost in jesus mighty name we are praying amen just take one one and hold it quickly you are wasting time give them one 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 just give one and hold it Run, run, run. You have two minutes. Hold it. If you're honest, your hand begins. All of you watching me all over the world, take your own. Take one communion mystery in your hand we are entering the porter's house now take one communion mystery in your hand everyone watching me all over the world now if you are watching me all over the world you are in your house you don't have one just go take a glass of water small glass of water in a cup take a small biscuit in your hand hold it and join us you are watching me all across the nations of the world you don't have this in your hand take a biscuit in your hand a small cup of water in your hand and then get ready are you with your own if your own is your hand just lift it up and begin to say lord thank you lord thank you lift it up and begin to say lord thank you lord thank you lord thank you everybody must have it we are taking you lord thank you lord just hold them and say, Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. Has everybody got it? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Has everybody got it? Lord Jesus. Just take one and say, Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. Has everybody got it? Thank you. Take one. Take one. Take one. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you. Are you ready? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now leave it to Jesus. Father, thank, thank you. Jesus. Bless thank this material in our hand. Amen. As the flesh of Jesus, Amen. and the blood of Jesus, Amen. in the name of God the Father, Amen. and God the Son, and God Amen. the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now look at, open the first lid. Are you opening? If you open it, take that bread and lift it up.
take that bread and lift it up. And take another one. Lift it up. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. This is the flesh of our Lord Jesus Christ. We receive it with thanksgiving. Thank you for our Lord Jesus Christ to die for us on the cross of Calvary. We receive it with thanksgiving. In the name of God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Eat it. Open the second one. The wine. Lift it up. Father, this is the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. We receive it by faith. We receive with thanksgiving. Let it be unto us exactly the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of God the Father, and God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Drink it. Stand where you are. Don't worry. You can just put it down. They will come and pick it. Put it down, down where you are. The ushers will come and take Just put it down, wherever you are. Now everybody stand where you are. Pray this prayer for one minute. By this communion, in this 52 days program, I receive power for restoration. Whatsoever is sick in my destiny, be healed. Whatsoever is deformed, be corrected. Whatsoever is not functioning well, not functioning perfectly well, be normalized. My physiology, be normalized. My reproductive system, be normalized. Every area of my life and destiny be corrected, be normalized. In this 52 days of fasting and prayer, I receive healing. I receive restoration. I receive deliverance. I receive breakthrough. I receive blessing. Open your mouth and cry. Father, in the name of Come on. Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Father, in the name of Jesus. By this communion. By this communion this morning. I receive restoration in the name my of Jesus. Jesus. Whatsoever that is my receive restoration in my life, I receive in my destiny, by this in my life, in whatsoever my is wrong, destiny, whatsoever, whatsoever is default, is whatsoever is default, whatsoever in my destiny, is default, I receive correction, I receive healing, I receive restoration. I receive, I receive, are, are you praying like that? Are you sure you are praying? Open your mouth. Is that the way to pray? That is my. In my life, life. I, receive I receive restoration. I receive healing. I receive I receive deliverance. I receive healing. I receive restoration. I receive healing. I receive deliverance. I receive restoration. I receive healing. I receive deliverance. I receive healing. Let poor people let them get rid of God. 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 Let them get rid of I receive restoration. I receive deliverance. I receive breakthrough. I receive healing. In the name of Jesus. Marebo Sata Lege de Gedebo. Ibradagalebo Shade de Gedebo. Makata Lege Debo. I receive restoration by this communion. I receive the restoration of my head. The restoration of my womb. Jesus mighty name we are praying. Amen. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. Amen. Come on, in Jesus mighty name we are praying. Amen. Those of you in the sanctuary, wait first. Let me minister to those people watching us online. Every person watching us all across the nations of the earth. We begin this 52 days journey by this communion. I baptize you with power. Power for the 52 days journey. Power to refuse to be a casualty. Fire, power to refuse to become a victim. Power to begin it and end it well. Power for signs, miracles and wonders. Power for dominion and deliverance. 
power for distinction and excellence power for blessing and prosperity everybody watching me across the nations of the earth by this communion let that power flow into you now in the name of jesus all of you watching me across the nations of the earth by this communion you become a creature of dominion signs and wonders shall answer to you in this 52 days program what you lack shall be delivered every wound you have been carrying the past years you are healed now in the mighty name of jesus i launch you to this week the first week of this program heaven will open over your head god will visit you there will be divine intervention that shall be divine turned around you shall have good news i stop the manipulation of the enemy i command the words of the devil to win die away and dry up the affairs of your life I command the door of good news, celebration of national rejoicing to open for you this way. You shall have testimony. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Those of you watching me on the internet, lift up your seed. As I, as I pray with you this morning, everybody watching me on the internet, lift up your seed. Raise a seed. Your seed, your offering is a will in the potter's house. It's a will, a will in the potter's house. All of you watching me on the internet, just lift up your seed. You brought your, your tithe, you are remitting your tithe, you are paying tithe today. All of you watching me across the nations of the earth, make sure you remit the tithe. Drop, lift up the tithe and the offering. Let me pray for you. Father God, thank you for all my viewers across the nations of the world. I am asking that this seed shall be a will that will answer for you in the potter's house. That we effect restoration, we effect deliverance, we effect liberty, we effect transformation, total turnaround of all the experiences of your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Everyone paying their tithe today, your life will not be tied. The windows and the doors of heaven will open over your head. Abundance shall be registered into your account. The Lord will bless you and multiply you and increase you. I command the windows and the doors of heaven to open. I rebuild the waters over your life. I command that they will not touch the foot of your ground. The whole world shall call you blessed. You shall be a delight of life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Now listen to me. The fasting and prayer starts on Tuesday, 10th of November. Tonight, the focus for this first week, the prayers, the focus, and all the prayer points that we are going to pray this first week will be posted on the platform this first week. I will send it, I will send it to you. But adventure, you are not on the platform already. Just, just send text your number to me so I will include you on the on the on the broadcast pl platform. Now the prayer points and all the focus for this will be will be sent. You are going to start the fasting on Tuesday. Tomorrow Monday, eat plenty of food. Eat seven times tomorrow. Don't bother about tomorrow. Just eat, eat, eat. From twelve midnight on Monday, full stop. You wake up on Tuesday, fasting start. Tuesday, 12 midnight, the journey to the porters will begin. Alabosa. So as you wake up on Tuesday, no tea, no bread, no butter, nothing. The journey start. You continue the fasting and pray. Now I allow you this first week to break your fast at 4 p.m. every day. At 4 p.m., you break your fast. 4 p.m. you break your fast then you pray the prayer that i said on the platform in the morning in the afternoon and in the night 4 p.m. you break your fast then number two you you join me for prayers and ministration on tuesday and friday 8 30 to 9 30 p.m nigeria time you join me for prayers by 8 30 to 9 30 p.m. Nigeria time on Tuesdays and Friday but you break your fast at 4 by this time next week on Sunday join me again from 10 to 11 and then we continue like that by next Sunday I will tell you the program for next week continue like that pray those prayers make sure that you go to the platform locate all the prayer points and all the programs for the week and then join me on Tuesday and Friday 8 30 to 9 30 and then on Sunday 10 to 11 make sure that you share with your contacts share it love it like it connect it to as many of your of, of your contacts as possible god promised to do great things god promised mighty deliverance and mighty breakthrough in this program so share with your contact invite as many people as possible send their prayers to other people to other people on your platform 
they will never regret being part of that program. So I see you on Tuesday, 8.30 to 9.30 p.m. Nigeria time. The Lord. Thank you for watching. The Lord bless you. I hope you have been richly blessed by this message. The Lord will keep blessing you for prayers and counseling. Call those numbers on the screen or visit us on our website for more information and we shall get back to you. If you have not made the Lord the Savior of your life, pray these prayers after me. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord and my personal Savior. I promise to serve you from now on to the end of my life. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will, the Lord will bless you. Follow us on our social media hand, uh, handles and you will get more information about us and have access to our messages. Till I meet you on this same channel next time, God bless you.